This is Nisha Johnny from Black Hollywood Live, and I'm joined here with the Marcus, uh, who's surprisingly matching our mic cube. Yes, excellent I choice. Ties, <laughs> I change ties as I go to different stations. Well, we appreciate you matching with us. Now tell us, uh, first of all, congratulations on the show. Thank you. Uh, tell us a, a little bit about it. So this is a spinoff from uh, the existing show called The Prophet. We, you know, we've been on for four years, and I wanted to make a show about job creation. Mm -hmm. I felt like during the political environment, everybody was talking about how you were going to solve my problems, and this guy was going to solve my problems, or this lady was going to solve my problems. I want people to solve their own problems. And applying for a job, and you've done it, you've applied, I've applied, <laughs> is not what it used to be. You don't just send your resume in and hope it works out you got to be out of the box and you got to be a big thinker and I wanted people to know that anybody's qualified everybody should try and you're not always going to get it and that's okay and I want to really push people to think differently in this country I feel like we're living in a in a very dark place right now and um, I, I feel like I am maybe I shouldn't be projecting and I feel like I have to do my part to let people know don't worry about what else is happening worry about yourself worry about your unemployment, worry about your wage, your promotion, and what everybody else is doing, don't use it as a way to blame it on somebody else. And that's really what the show was about. It was more of a passion project than it was a television show for me. Uh, there's been a lot of criticism about the show because they said, oh, this is just like The Apprentice. I don't know why anybody would think that it would be like that. I'm not an asshole. And so that's a good starting point. And uh, I end up giving people a real job and real money. So, um, I don't know. You guys have about is 10 participants on the show? We start oh, at 4,000 applicants, yeah. got down to 10, and then in the first episode, I go to five because okay. I can't really properly interview 10 people and give them the time. And then, obviously, um, in the fifth episode, I pick one. Wow, okay. And it'll surprise you who I pick. Okay. Because you would think, everybody thinks, oh, I'm competing with somebody that's super qualified or they went to Yale or they. No. No. Okay, so then tell me, what, what are some of the characteristics you are looking for in Humility. a partner? Humility, vulnerability, transparency, and a kick-ass work ethic. And the ability to say, I don't know. I'll find out. Everybody thinks they have to be a know-it-all. And if, you, if I was interviewing you for a job, I would not want you to tell me that you knew everything. I would be like, how could you know everything? I would rather you say to me, look, I'm going to work hard. I think I could add value. Here are the skills I have. Here's what I don't have. I'm hoping to learn from you. I'm hoping to teach you. Like, why isn't it, why is it any different than a personal relationship? We, we learn from each other. And we both suck at some things, and we're both good at some things. Okay, so tell me, what are some things you did learn on this show, working with your five candidates? That I can't do it all myself. That there are people that are smarter than me, and I need them in my life. And I'm never, I've never been good at my personal life, because I put it all in my business life. And I learned that it's okay for me to be vulnerable too. It's okay for me to acknowledge what I don't know. And that if people don't like me for who I am, I don't care. <laughs> I agree. Well, like we if they have. don't like that I have burgundy sneakers on, I don't really care. <laughs> well, I think they're pretty fly. I don't really <laughs> care. Thank you so nice much. Best you. of success Thank with everything. You.